All right, we're gonna watch most evil woman of history. There's gonna be a witch in here. The most evil women in history. It's a pretty well known Medusa fact. Medusa might show up as number like one on the spot. Content, <laughs> whether it be killer, torture methods, or mythical creatures, you guys like weird and scary. But unfortunately, with most of these topics, one thing I haven't really covered is women, and I'm all about inclusivity and equal representation. He's strictly so in covered this video, men I want only, to switch bro. up a bit and focus on the women of evil. Dangerous evil yeah, watch women out for this guy. And more. And if you thought women were scary before this video, they're gonna be terrifying after. Let's begin. First up on our list is Beverly Allen, one good. of Britain's most hated serial killers. She worked as a nurse in the children's ward in the UK and ultimately intentionally injured 13 of her patients and murdered four of them in the process. The nine that did survive weren't much better for wear and were seriously injured. Beverly would administer They like put her in another one. She only killed a few of them. Of her victims. One she of the can do another surgery. <laughs> that all of these crimes were committed in only a two month period and all of her victims were infants. No. Only two months old. One of the scariest you mean you're tough trying to Beverly kill a baby, no bro? Motive. And due to her mental health concerns, she wasn't held in prison. She's currently in a secure hospital. It is so extremely unfortunate that in such a short amount of She's time, currently held in the an so Arkham Asylum. So many young, vulnerable people. It's truly disgusting. I suppose the silver lining is that she was relatively quickly found out after only 59 days or just under two months. But even one yeah, after eight kills. Let's move on. Fucking 96 we hurt. <laughs> dangerous female killer from Italy. This story is a trip, so just try to follow along. To put it frankly, this woman was a nut job. She had a very rough upbringing and was extremely superstitious. Her family mistreated her, and that led her to rebel and marry a man that her family didn't approve of. She was then banished from her no, family. No, we hate and she that guy. That her family He's had bald put in the head. On her that would only allow her to have negative experience. And she believed in this curse heavily. You'll see what I mean. She dearly wanted to be a mother, but unfortunately, out of the 17 pregnancies that she had, only four of her children survived. One of which was her son, who she loved uh, dearly. That's not good odds, to but she saw a you got four. four. How many do you really need? Would die before her, and she didn't want to believe it. Not too much longer later, in 1939, the World War II draft happened, and her son was of age to be drafted. So what did she do? Well, she thought she could have a human sacrifice to protect her son. What she did was she targeted vulnerable middle aged women that were unhappy and unmarried and promised them a life of Okay, that always worked out. Life. The first victim she invited over, she told to write To avoid the draft, you could like run away so or you could sacrifice right a soul. I always heard that. She was doing. This victim came to Leonardo's house, drank wine that was poisoned, passed out, and Leonardo killed her and cut up her body and turned her body into soap and tea cakes, which she served to her friends and even her son. But Unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. This one sacrifice that That's she did to protect her son in the war. She's crafty. Enough for, she's putting it all together. <laughs> again, three more times. But she was eventually caught as her last victim's sister was grown concerned of where she could be. And fortunately, she heard that her sister, the victim, was last seen going into Leonardo's house. That prompted an investigation where both Leonardo and her son Giuseppe were taken into custody, where she no, promptly admitted how could they get Giuseppe, and pled guilty to all of the charges. This case Giuseppe is so had nothing to do with any I of that. I can't understand how one can be so <laughs> superstitious. But there has to be more going on here because nobody who's just superstitious ends up eating people. Disgusting and crazy, honestly. I know I put a lot of time into this story specifically, but I thought that this context was kind of required and I thought that this story was just too crazy not to give more detail on. There's no doubt this woman is evil and dangerous. Let's keep moving. This next entry brings us all the way back to the 1500s in Hungary with Elizabeth Bathory. Before I get into the details, I'm going to say this. There are two popular beliefs about the story of Elizabeth Bathory. One is that this entire story was made up and fabricated to discredit her and her family. And the entire situation was just a witch hunt to put her away for good. And the second belief, which I think that I'm a part of after doing some research on the topic, is that everything I'm about to discuss is historical fact and true. And this lady was an absolute maniac. Elizabeth was given the so you're saying this all could be made up Countess in a myth. Dracula. She had very odd vampiric tendencies. Elizabeth oh, yep. <laughs> and you said that she's Dracula, okay. And unfortunately, you she see where it's the going? way to do so was by bathing in the blood of her virgin servants. And that's exactly what she did. She How many servants can you have? Them, and then draining the blood from their bodies and doing what she wished with it. Allegedly, her husband even built her a She's torture chamber. She's got expendable servants that you could like fill a pool of on the blood. Of course, kind of. she only had so many servants and consistently needed to recruit new servants to become a victim okay. of her. Okay, see, he answered my question. Of younger class families who felt blessed to have the opportunity to interact with higher classes. Unfortunately, their wow, daughters they sacrificed their children to be fucking put in a vampire's bathtub. 
her crimes were uncovered. Make a she was convicted bloody of bubble bath. Of murder, and in 1611 was confined to a room in a castle with only slits for food and air, and she died three years later. Now, I'll let you guys make up your mind about whether or not this woman was dangerous and evil or not, but the fact that there is so much evidence, 52 collected statements, and the fact that this has stayed through history for almost 600 years, to me, definitely says that she's not innocent and likely not a great person either, at the very least. But let's keep Not a great now, person. She <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's putting the fucking lightly. One of the UK's most notorious putting it nicely. She's also known as the Peterborough Ditch Murderer because she would throw bodies in ditches in Peterborough, where she lived. Kind of self-explanatory, but... To put it bluntly, Joanna is a narcissistic psychopath who had a very unfortunate draw to men and extremely evil intentions. And by draw to men, I don't mean that she was interested in that men. I mean that men could not resist her. She had some sort of magnetic personality that people were just attracted to. And this Face unfortunately that. isn't super uncommon for narcissists and sociopaths when you first meet them. Just for a bit of context of how evil this woman truly is, is she's by professionals and experts considered one of the most dangerous, if not the most dangerous woman to be in the criminal system in the United Kingdom right now as we speak. In March of 2013, Joanne and her accomplice, Gary Richard, had the grand... Wow, he already looks injured already. <laughs> nine men. And unfortunately, over the course of 10 days, he murdered three men and severely injured two others by stabbing them. She was eventually caught when the poorly hidden bodies were found. And if you want to really know how truly messed up this person was, when the first body was found, he was naked from the waist down and his top half was covered in a sequin dress. She specifically dressed up the body like this to humiliate him as his body was found. If killing wow. him wasn't bad enough. Investigators immediately knew that I bet he looked great. a disturbed individual. And after they caught her, they knew that they were exactly right. The first victim that they found was actually her landlord. And the next two victims were random dog walkers that they found on the road. There's a lot more deep and disturbing details to get into dog walkers situation and like someone walking their dog or a child out like long, walking the dog for ten dollars to convey the information that this woman is you're gonna die walking this dog for ten dollars but we're not done yet let's keep going this not even your dog described <laughs> by the judge of the case as evil himself so if there's any entry fitting for the list it's this one this entry also has an interview available on youtube which i watched for this video and it is very disturbing and you can see exactly how strange and genuinely crazy this person is the way that they were able to justify their crimes to themselves and just lie is absolutely astonishing and well i'll just say it's it's strange and if you're interested in watching it you can look it up the last thing i'll say before i reveal her identity no, this guy's eyes look like a nose because if you watched our last video you'll notice a common theme of i watched serial killers it focusing on sex workers that's the video that put me on to this opposite. guy this dangerous woman was a sex worker who killed her clients and made them you know, we gotta drop a like for this fucking I'm speaking on circular headed balloon also head guy damsel of death like essentially every serial killer eileen had a very troubled upbringing and this no doubt led to the life that she led she worked as a sex worker in the 1980s along highways in florida and between 1989 and 1999 she killed a total of six men in only a 12 month period she would drug men shoot men rob men take their cars and drive their cars back to her home she was ruthless yet <laughs> why is that shocked face and although her sanity was questioned yeah. and very much questionable she was not granted an insanity plea and was actually sentenced to death where she did die in 2002 via lethal injection there's a lot more entries that i could have put on this list and there's a lot more i want wow, to put it in the amount of time we're a bit behind at the trust me bro studio so i made this video a bit shorter so we can get it out on time so hopefully you guys can appreciate that and if you like this topic and want to see more please let me know and i'd love to do it part two wow, thank w, you guys so much guys. for watching this